and welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. One confirmed case of COVID has forced the last-minute cancellation of Blues Fest at Byron Bay. The popular music festival was set to start tomorrow with 15,000 people to attend. But following conversations between the organisers and New South Wales Health, the decision was made to pull the plug. It says restrictions are being ramped up for the Byron Bay, Ballina, Tweed and Lismore areas. That's until the end of Easter. Greater Brisbane residents, meantime, will have to wait until tomorrow to find out if the lockdown will extend beyond three days. Only two new cases have been recorded in the community, another nurse from the PA hospital and her housemate. New South Wales and Queensland are at loggerheads with the federal government. That's after leaked figures suggest that the states are stockpiling their COVID vaccines. They say it isn't true and are demanding better communication about when and how many doses they will be receiving. PM Scott Morrison is urging patients. Not interested in people who want to pay politics with vaccines and distribution and all of that sort of thing. My job to get people vaccinated. It's the Premier's job to get people vaccinated and that's exactly what we're doing. While Federal Health Minister Greg Hunt says the states and territories are doing a first-class job in the vaccine rollout. I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for achieving these results today. The states and the territories, you know, our confidence is clear and absolute in their systems. Now to state politics in New South Wales and Upper House MP Michael Johnson, who's accused of raping a sex worker in the Blue Mountains last year, has resigned from state parliament. Six months of wet and wild weather is finally behind us with La Nina officially declared over. Rainfall for the last three months was 29% above average Australia-wide. And no surprises here, more of us are shopping online now more than ever before. There's been a 57% growth in e-commerce in the last 20 12 months. Taking a look at your sport and the Cowboys and Titans games have been moved to Sydney amid concerns that the Brisbane COVID outbreak could spread. And Captain Luke Shuey will return for the Eagles this week, but Oscar Allen is in doubt for Saturday's clash with Port Adelaide. In entertainment news, and Britney Spears has broken her silence around that recent documentary about her life. The singer took to Instagram to say that she still feels pretty judged and insulted by the media. Now, Vanessa Bryant shared some good news. She said Kobe would be so proud of his daughter after she got accepted to University of California. And Princess Mary has made a virtual appearance at the UN Women's Generation Equality Forum. The Australian-born Danish royal calling for gender norms to be challenged in her address to the United Nations. And access to quality education and the transformation of gender norms and challenging stereotypes are absolutely essential. And that is the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We will see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.